Hello, it's Vince Cerf. I wish I could join you for the 10th anniversary of Lachnik, but unfortunately my calendar isn't cooperating, so we'll have to put up with virtual Vint again. First of all, I consider this to be an extraordinary milestone. Any institution that can survive at least 10 years uh, has shown that it has uh, serious longevity. So all of you who have participated not only in the creation but in the continued operation of Lachnik deserve a great deal of credit, and I congratulate you on that. Second, uh, after those 10 years have elapsed, uh, we are now in a period of time which is, uh, I would say, among the most uh, tumultuous in the period of Internet's evolution. We have IP version 6 entering into uh, operation, we have IP version 4 evaporating in many parts of the uh, regional Internet registry space. We have new top-level domains coming on the order of 1,900 of them, potentially. Uh, we have internationalized domain names that allow domain names to be expressed in uh, character sets other than Latin characters. Uh, we, so there is much going on. Of course, with the exhaustion of IP version 4, uh, there's also a great deal of uh, turmoil as to how uh, Internet uh, addresses are to be moved from people who have them to people who do not but need them. And so uh, policies for uh, transitioning or transferring uh, IP version 4 address space are important and should be as uniform as possible across all the regional Internet registries. And I'm sure that speaking as uh, NRO, uh, the, uh, the five regional Internet registries, including LACMIC, will work together to uh, find a way to make this a, a coherent process. Uh, it can be quite volatile, as many of you might imagine, as uh, people who are uh, stressed uh, for uh, the need uh, or stressed by the need for IP version 4 address space uh, try to find ways of satisfying that requirement. Perhaps the most important thing, though, uh, is to recognize that the uh, Internet is entering a period of extremely high demand for address space and therefore uh, stresses the need for IP version 6. Some of you will have heard the term Internet of Things. Many of us have been thinking about um, appliances that might be part of the Internet space, uh, things you would have at home, at work, in the, uh, in the car, and perhaps also on your person. As time goes on, uh, we're likely to make use of more and more devices concurrently. That is to say, we won't use the Internet one device at a time, but rather multiple devices operating in cooperation. At Google, there is something called Google Glass, which is really a set of glasses that you uh, that you wear, and by looking up in the appropriate direction, you can see a, a window, a web-like window, that might contain information about where you are or what's known about what is going on around you. Uh, perhaps if you're looking at a menu, it would tell you, uh, especially if it's not in a language you speak, it would tell you uh, what that menu says and maybe even translate the prices uh, into something that you would uh, understand more readily. Uh, this this uh, notion of um, augmented reality is, uh, is part of that story. Uh, moreover, uh, as these devices begin to uh, participate with you uh, in the uh, sensorium, that is to say, a computer can see what you see, can hear what you hear, uh, can see what you are doing, uh, and reach conclusions based on that, based on gestures that you're making, or comments, or, or statements, or even commands that you're uttering, uh, become partners uh, in a way that is far more intimate than sitting in front of a, uh, a keyboard or perhaps with a, a, a pad or a tablet of some sort uh, directly uh, writing on it or somehow interacting with it. This richer kind of uh, interaction ultimately might even lead to um, a kind of uh, extreme artificial intelligence uh, where you have uh, robots that are part of the environment. Uh, they, be, they become an elaboration on the Internet of Things. But that, of course, it seems like it's in the distant future and perhaps simply a, a product of science fiction. But in fact, I think many of you uh, will know that there are robotic, robotic devices uh, being developed now that are very nearly autonomous in their nature. Perhaps a dramatic example of that is at Google, where we have cars that drive themselves, uh, in particular around San Francisco. Several hundred thousand miles have been driven by these cars, essentially on their own. They do have human um, uh, people uh, in them, uh, particularly if the car reaches a situation where it doesn't know how to handle it. An audible signal says, excuse me, human being, uh, but you need to take over control of the car now. I don't know what to do. 
which means that uh, you shouldn't uh, be sitting in the back seat uh, consuming alcohol in case it might be your turn to drive. Uh, over time, of course, uh, perhaps this uh, the situation will get even more uh, elaborate and cars will talk to each other. Uh, one thing I've learned recently is that the uh, cars at Google, anyway, are uh, reporting information back about what they are observing so that every car that uh, has seen anything can learn what every other car has seen and that way you begin to grow a body of knowledge about what to expect on the roads even if the car, the particular car that you're in has never been there before it has access to everything else. Well, I didn't mean to turn this into a discussion about Google because the focus of attention is on LACNIC and its 10th anniversary. But the point I want to make here is that you play a very vital role in uh, what is a fundamental part of the uh, Internet's operation, specifically the uh, allocation and assignment of Internet address space, without which uh, very little of the Internet would function. So I want to thank every one of you for the contributions you've made, and, and I expect you will continue to make. I do look forward to an opportunity to visiting uh, not only uh, LACNIC, but uh, the rest of the uh, operations in uh, Latin America. Uh, surely uh, there will be a time when my calendar will cooperate and I'll have an opportunity to do that. But in the meantime, uh, happy anniversary uh, and good luck to every one of you. See you on the net.